Nobody must follow our moon. That is the Saudi standpoint. That is the Hanbali school of thought. Nobody should follow our sighting. Saudi Arabia and the ulama there will tell you, the senior scholars will tell you, we believe you should look for your moon for in your own area. Don't rely on us. There are six things that you need to know about the Ummul Qura calendar. One, the Ummul Qura calendar is the name given to Saudi Arabia's official calendar, which is used for the administrative and civic purposes. 2. The Ummul Qura calendar is calculated based on a formula. This means that the calendar can be printed many years in advance, which is helpful for Saudi Arabia for planning and administration purposes. 3. Importantly, this formula used by the Ummul Qura calendar is not based on the visibility of the moon in Saudi Arabia. 4. The consequences of this is clearly acknowledged on the Ummul Qura official website, which states, the Ummul Qura calendar is both the formal and civil calendar of the kingdom, but it may not match the actual visibility of the crescent. 5. In fact, the formula the Ummul Qura calendar currently uses will result in months which, for most cases, start a day earlier than the moon is actually visible in Saudi Arabia. 6. In practice, the Ummul Qura calendar is only used in Saudi Arabia for 8 months of the year. For the remaining four months, they switch from the Ummul Qura calendar and begin months based on local moon sighting reports instead. These four months are Ramadan, Shawwal, Dhul Hijjah and Muharram. This is because Saudi Arabia considers these months as holy and believe that the holy months must start with a physical moon sighting. So how does this impact when Ramadan begins? The implications of this mixed calendar system on Ramadan are massive. Let me explain. So the month before Ramadan is called Sha'ban. And of course, the 29th of Sha'ban is a very special day. On this day, Muslims from around the world gather at spaces just like this to search for the Ramadan moon. Sha'ban this year, as it does every year, began according to the Ummul Qura calculation. But remember, the pre-calculated months often begin a day before the moon is actually visible. And this was the case for Sha'ban this year. So in effect, Every date of Sha'ban in Saudi Arabia this year was a day earlier than Sha'ban based on lunar visibility. So, by the time we come to the 29th of Sha'ban according to the Umm al Qura calendar, it will be the 28th of Sha'ban according to lunar visibility. Those who do moon sighting all year round say, look, you're doing the Ramadan moon sighting on the wrong date. You started Sha'ban a day early, so your sighting is a day early. You're not sighting on the 29th, you're sighting on the 28th, which is totally wrong. Looking for the moon on the wrong day is a huge issue with mixed calendars, which of course will have ramifications for the declared start date of Ramadan. Nevertheless, Saudi Arabia will go out to look for the moon on the 29th of Sha'ban, which according to the Ummul Qura calendar will be on Saturday the 4th of May. Of course, as they are looking a day early, this will be far too early to sight the moon. Now you might be wondering, if hypothetically, Saudi Arabia operated a lunar visibility based calendar all year round, when would Ramadan have begun? Well, they would have started Sha'ban a day later and would have gone out to sight the moon a day later. And even a day later, the moon is not visible to the naked eye in Saudi Arabia.